progressing yourself in a squat doesn't have to be a struggle. With the right tempo, with the right form, with the right technique for your body, with the right progression, the right sequence, you can get to where you want to be. Hey, it's Elijah Malice, and today we're talking about how to get stronger in a squat, where to start for people who are maybe just getting back into their fitness groove, haven't worked out in a while, or really you want to take it a bit more serious. You want to see better results. Better results are going to come when you demand more from your body. You want your body to have to adapt. So every week we want to try to create a new stimulus. Whatever environment we're choosing to put our body in, the body's going to respond to that environment. If you're going to be doing the same thing week after week, it might become stale. It might feel stale. So we want to stimulate the body so it can adapt and grow stronger. We want to progress ourselves week by week. And this is how I've helped countless hundreds of clients over the years, both as an in-person and online trainer, get stronger with their strength and full range of motion conditioning. So a great place to start with your squat pattern is on a bench or a box, on a chair. Okay, so a box squat. Okay, you're gonna find something about 90 degree angle. Okay, something where you can keep a good tall posture, straight spine, and stand. For our squat pattern, remember it is a knee dominant movement, meaning we want those knees to bend, chest stays tall, and then we boom, come up. Okay, if you're having trouble with some ankle stiffness, you can go a little bit wider, point the toes out, and that's fine for now. We just wanna get into these patterns. It doesn't have to look perfect, but we want it to feel strong. So root yourself into the ground, okay? And we're gonna use the assistance of having something to touch and then return, okay? It takes less effort because you don't have to ask as much of our body because we're using the assistance of something, which is fine, a great place to start, okay? So I actually prefer clients to start their squat patterns in a goblet style, holding a weight versus actually just body weight. I've noticed this helps the client hone in the form and technique. It helps them stabilize a bit better with an external object and specifically holding it out in front of us. It kind of counteracts the forces uh, and the balance. Some people have a hard time with their squat. It starts to look like that, but when they hold a lighter object and when you hold it tight to the chest, you take a big inhale, you touch and then return, you can feel more stable and rooted using this object. Okay, so grab five pounds, grab 10 pounds, grab 15, somewhere in there. Let's get really close to the box, to the chair. Make sure it's close to you so you can pretty much go straight down and then boom, stand. Okay, bend those knees, boom, stand. All right, and you know, we can add in some intentional tempo in the beginning, like one, two, three, and stand. One, two, three, and stand. One, two, three three and stand. I like to work my clients up to three sets of 20 repetitions before progressing into a different style of that same pattern, okay? So you can get to three sets of 20 repetitions using that same weight and you can even go back down to maybe you started at eight reps, maybe you started at 10. I usually start my clients with 10 repetitions, okay? So let's say you did 10 repetitions with 10 pounds. Next week you added a couple reps, okay? You did 12 reps. Boom, you progressed, you got stronger, you got better. Okay, so every week add some reps and then you can get to 20 repetitions. Once you're there, we can go back down to 10 and increase the weight. So maybe you're going up to a 15 pound weight now on your box squat, okay? You can go do that same type of progression all the way up to about 25, 30 pounds. And then you can now maybe get rid of the box. Go back down to your 10 to 15 pound weight and without the box, Boom, okay, same thing, same progression. Get 20 repetitions there and then go down, increase the weight. Okay, you can keep doing this style of progression and it's very simple and clients get great results from that. So the goblet uh, style position with a weight in front of us is demanding a lot on the core, right? Because we have something in front of our body, it wants to pull us forward. So we're resisting that. Okay, using our stabilizer muscles, using the core. And this exercise really will smoke you uh, when you get high repetition and you start upping that weight. So very simple, very sustainable. This is a great way to progress yourself in the squat pattern. And once you're done maybe with your goblet squat, 
well, you can maybe move on to holding two dumbbells at your sides, okay, squatting like this. Or if you're into barbells, progress into a barbell. You could do a trap bar, things like that. Okay, I like to progress our clients into using barbells on their back. I've noticed that to be a very intentional progression that really helps them get the most bang for their buck because their technique is more sound once they get to that barbell. They have a baseline level, a foundational level of strength. Their mobility has increased naturally from the full range of motion training. And it's an all around more efficient path for the client. So I really love the goblet box squat. I love starting on the box and then progressing to no box. Get yourself up to three sets of 20 repetitions. You could do that once every five days. You could do it once a week and reap the benefits. So let me know down below if that made sense. If you have any more questions, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Elijah Maddelson. Be on the lookout for some programs dropping that you can join in on that takes you through these progressions inside of um, not only the uh, workout portion of the course, but also you'll get access to a community group that will do it with you. So those programs will be dropping soon, our Embody 360 programs, all right? The next video, maybe I'll talk about how to, like what to do next in the workout sequence. Maybe you're doing a squat in your workouts, like what do I do next? Okay, so maybe we'll do a whole workout routine in the next video. Let me know if you would like that down below. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.